Let me no, explain. there's no justifying. That's our blown up motor. That's a new one it's, from the junkyard. Yeah. Everything's pulled and he did nothing without telling or no, you did everything without telling me. I know. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to drive it again. Warning, the following contains actions performed by idiots. What you're about to view should not be taken as factual or educational. For further questions, please refer to your Google. What is this? The J35 A4. A4s. What is that out of? Out of an 04 Honda Odyssey. Okay. According to Josh, it's a good J35. All the sensors are the same? No. I got to change. Uh, I'll let you show you what needs to be changed. So, uh, this is a crankshaft position sensor that Paul. That's what happened. <laughs> Let's see here. That's why we had to send AM back to, or the ECU back to AM. To we can from, put that right onto here. Yeah, will go. Yeah. The only thing is our time about has to come off. Okay. But time, our motor has 170, and it came out of a car that came from IA. Vehicle starts. It was hit down the passenger 170? side. 170. 170. Timing about water pump was done at 150. I'm thinking turn it back to 10 pounds. On and the new turbo. On the new turbo. 10 pounds. 10 pounds. This motor. Um, and I mean, we need to, this to last a month. Yeah, well, and I also, <laughs> there was, uh, I just put a bid on an Odyssey, 150 bucks for my, uh, they're asking nice. 250, 200, but that could be a builder while we blow this uh, one up again. Okay. But if we can go back and make it 500, try to go low yeah. levens this year, leave it there. What we should do is turn the boost controller down all, all the, the way, way. And then work, our, or just disconnect the boost, the boost controller wastegate pressure, then go up to 10 yeah, 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 good point. Okay. You know. So when is this going in? So I got to switch this sensor and then, then take cam, the cam and crank. But you have to take the time belt off to do that sensor. To do this sensor. Okay, so do and all that. while that's off, I'll take the cam gear off to the cam ang angle sensor because they both need to have different plugs, remember? This is yes. four wires, the other one's six. Okay. So change those and then Dude, the clutch is brand new. That's why it, I think it's Oh, I out. forgot about Oh, yeah, now we can do Look. a clutch. Yeah. Uh, so the clutch, Sam, our clutch is brand new? Yeah. Remember I asked the guy that did the swap? Yeah. He said it's a brand new OEM. He wasn't kidding. Dude, we've made that much power and not even one burn spot on the fly on the Wow. Yeah. It I mean, that's a lot of life left. So, if so we're if not we going to build if we that stay one, at if we five, stay at 5 we this don't launch should go, it. Yeah, no last launch for it. A little yeah, bit. that should right that should on. last. So we'll put that motor in, tell it blows up, but we'll have another one on the way that we could build. That's a thirty-five. Okay. With these heads, we'll do cams, uh, springs, retainers, valves, and then we could try to make seven or eight hundred. Okay. So, what uh, I want to show everyone the damage a little more clearly. Oh yeah, I'll take the pan. I mean, the piston is not connected to the rod. I pushed the piston down. This one? Yeah, do you see how it's tilted? But all the other pistons. Oh, look at the. Are what's that crap for on the valve? Two valves, uh, four valves, bent. Didn't ruin the head, though. Just bent valves. Oh, I forgot we have those heads right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> okay. Well, the way to do it is that block and the Type S heads, but you gotta get accurate RL pistons to clear the Type S valves. But oh, really? We'll just, yeah, we're just gonna go all R R35. So that is that rod is what that's the rod up. that kicked out of that that side of the block that's insane yeah so we'll take this off later and show you guys it's, the yeah the carnage yeah i guarantee you the piston and the rod will just come two different pieces <laughs> they're not connected that's crazy each other. yeah but huh. everything else about the block is the exact same cool i grabbed the half shaft from the drink cards from the 35 but it's the same one so just to be safe and this, and was, this was pretty easy to pull this was hanging by these two bolts at the junkyard. No, like taking the swap out of here. Oh, just straight up with the filter off. With, with the, the filter, oil filter off, it hits. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I dude, there was. I'm pretty sure it scratched. Actually, I'll show you. So that's where I can it see hit. where it's dented. I, yeah, <laughs> I took it off yeah, at first. Yeah, there, there's a little nick right there. Yeah, I took it off at first because it was leaking. 
and I was pulling the motor, I was like, well, I'll just put it back on, and then it did that. Cool. Yep. Okay. Well, that works. So, yeah, hopefully the house needs another week of work, and then go to town on this. A couple hours, this will be in. Cool. Okay, so these threads in here are trashed from the previous owner. This bolt was finger loose. It is now tight, but obviously not doing anything. Um, for the sake of time, instead of fixing that, we're gonna put it in and then this has these two mounts down here. So after it's in the car, we're gonna build some brackets that come up to this mount from both sides. So that should take the worry away from that. And then when we tear this apart over the winter again, we'll fix that properly. But if we put all the stress on down here, it should take away from that. Yanni? Yep. Okay. I'm surprised that those bolts were in there the whole time. We drove it yeah, and stick to the track. Literally, when this was tight, I mean, it could shake the mount. Yeah. And it just pulled the bolt out. So this one's tight. So I think if we do those two on the side, we should be It'll fine. It'll take the weight off of... Yeah. I wonder how... So this, this goes right there. Yeah. That's probably going to be a pain in the buttocks to do in the car. to go down or the mountain needs to go up. Yeah. I think. I could thread this top one in. Really? Yeah. Um, 
mountain wants to go up. Can you push the mountain up a little bit? But why? Because it's not right up. Oh, uh, lower the deck, please. So, uh, basically it started raining and healing like a son of a gun. So we were kind of half working on the outside, so we had to shove everything in the garage, quit for the night. The intake manifold is really dirty, so Mina wants to clean that off. Um, we need to, I need to buy some parts for the welder because it is currently not working. And then I need to go make those brackets for him for that uh, trans mount. And then supposedly, okay, so that motor has 180,000 miles. But the timing belt water pump was done, I think, 10,000 miles ago. It came out of a running driving car. Um, I don't know. It spins super freely. Like, everything looks pretty good. So the plan is uh, we're going to try and just do gate pressure and make, like, 460 to 480. So it would be 20 to 30 horsepower more than we made previously. Should be enough to break into the 11s because we ran a 12.0 uh, last time making 450. So an extra 20, 30 horsepower should put us in the 11s. Um, we are trying to get this done for an event in, I think we have five days now. So again, last minute, super exciting, super stressful. Uh, so we're going to try and get it done basically tomorrow. And then Brent said he's got us covered. So we're going to try and make it up there the following couple days, depending on the schedule, but a good, but like kind of conservative tune on it and just go have fun with it. And then we'll tear it down again, uh, over the winter and hopefully built a, or put a built motor in there and try to make like a reliable, like six. So I think that'd be Pretty good for that car. Nothing has happened with the bug. Nothing has happened with the Jeep vet. Um, so we're gonna focus on the Civic for tomorrow and then I'll try and get into probably the bug. I gotta do all the wiring. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, we should be cranking out a couple videos this week because we are in a time crunch. So we're gonna be working and filming. So hopefully you see it. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, we'll see you soon.